What's up guys, War here, welcome back. We're bringing you some build videos for the characters. I'm gonna have a lot of these for you guys, so that way you can use them, especially in next weekend's beta. <clears throat> We're gonna have some for each class, okay? So, this first one, I wanna give a shout out. I can't remember who it was in my community. Uh, I can't remember his name, I'll find it, but shout out to you, man, for helping me uh, showcase in this build. This um, Ice Shards, Ice Blades build for the uh, Sorcerer is absolutely crazy. The cooldown uh, reduction and cooldown resetting of your skills is phenomenal. So what we're going to do with these build videos, because they're a little bit different than our D3 ones, <clears throat> we're going to go through the skill tree, and then I'm going to go in and kind of showcase how the build plays. Uh, so here we go. So initially with the uh, this build, it's all a Frost build. So we're going to go with Frost Bolt, uh, which is uh, throwing a bolt that deals damage and chilling enemies. Then we're going to enhance frost bolt uh to have a chance to explode enemies and freeze them and then we're going glinting because we want the mana back now if you don't have any issues with mana then you could do uh frost bolt makes frozen enemies vulnerable i think the mana regeneration is just better because we want to be casting ice shards all the time and we also want to be casting ice blades all the time so <clears throat> after that we come down to ice shards we got a five out of five on ice shards because this is our main damage dealing skill besides ice blades so we got that <clears throat> we go to enhance ice shards uh, a 15 percent chance to ricochet to another enemy and then ice shards always ricochet off frozen enemies which the majority of the time they should be frozen <clears throat> oh my god i've been talking so much the last couple days uh the next thing is greater ice shards when i have a barrier active cast of ice shards treat enemies if they're frozen so down to our next skills our barriers so we have ice armor this is our main barrier skill. Whenever this is up, again, our ice shards are going to act as if every enemy is frozen. And then they have a chance to ricochet. So this is very, very strong. So we got ice armor, a barrier that forms around you for six seconds, absorbing 30% da or 30 of damage. And then you have damage dealt. And then while ice armor is active, we have mana regeneration by 25%. And then shimmering ice armor, which has a 15% chance to, for enemies to become frozen when I'm hit while wearing ice armor. This build is going to be a little bit up more, uh, like kind of up close and personal, but uh, it's a very satisfying build. So we have that. <clears throat> then we have Frost Nova. We unleash the big wave that freezes people, which is good. Helps trigger our ice shards. Then we have uh, Enhanced Frost Nova. Reduces the cooldown. Uh, killing frozen enemies reduces the cooldown. And then also Mystical Frost Nova, which makes enemies vulnerable now again because i have the increased uh mana regeneration and glinting frostbolt you could go with shimmering frostbolt or excuse me frost nova that generates four mana per hit but i like this better because it makes them vulnerable and if you guys don't know in diablo 4 when an enemy is vulnerable you do 20 percent more damage to that enemy so i like this for just a little bit added punch for the sorcerer okay now down to the bread and butter of this build is ice blades i only have two ranks on it because i have a uh, shimmering upgraded i could probably take away from this but this is passive damage that happens so we have ice blades which conjure a pair of ice blades that just rapidly slash enemies and they have a 30 percent chance to make them vulnerable so the cool thing is is that now we do enhanced ice blades so cooldown is reduced by one second each time it hits a vulnerable enemy and then we have summoned ice blades where 50% of ice blades cooldown reduction is applied to our other skills. So, but what really makes this pop is in our skill assignment down in enhancements for every 20 seconds of in cooldowns you spend, you spawn in ice blades on a random enemy. So that means as we continue to get cooldown, it's going to automatically spawn our ice blades to hit more enemies, which then in, in turn reduces the cooldown of all of our abilities so we can continuously spam ice blades ice armor and frost nova and then just dominate with ice shards okay now in down here you really really need this so after you grab uh, ice blades you come down and you grab icy veal we have three out of three on this our barriers have an 15 percent increased duration so we have ice armor that has six seconds we increase that by 15 percent. so it's a couple more seconds which is really good then we come down, we didn't get any of the abilities here. We come down and get our ultimate because we're a, a freezing build, a cold build. We got deep freeze, which encases you for four seconds, chilling a bunch of enemies, and then it deals a bunch of damage after it explodes. 
After that, you have Prime Deep Freeze. When it ends, you gain 10% of your life as a barrier, which we have increased barrier, so that's even good. And then Supreme Deep Freeze, when it ends, your non-ultimate uh, cooldowns are reduced by 50%. So all of these are reduced by another 50%. So with this build, almost all these should be up nonstop for the most part. There is going to be times where it's not, but that is the build. So let's go and do it. So when it comes to the legendary powers for this, guys, we'll, uh, we'll go over that at the end. But let's go showcase this real quick. I think the best way to do it is to come down here and kind of do this world event. So let's get in here. We'll knock this out. So you're always going to want to spawn Ice Blades first. Get your shield up. And then just attack. It's pretty easy. And then once you got kind of have like a mob, you can just uh, you can just pop Frost Nova, freeze everything, reset, reset your skills, recast, freeze again. And then when you get like a big mob, then you can do your your deep freeze. But you just you're just non-stop casting this stuff for free. Freeze everything. Have your ice shards deal all the damage. Freeze up. Get a mob. Deep freeze it. Let's go. Reset everything. Freeze. You should be non-stop casting ice blades. Boom. Freeze. The build is pretty cool. Freeze everything again. You can see nonstop, you're just always casting this stuff. The Ice Blades do so much damage. I got punctured. No. You're just nonstop casting all of your abilities. Your shield should almost always be up at all the time. All the time. Boom. Finish out these enemies. Got the increased damage. I'm missing an enemy. All right, guys. So that is the uh, that is the Frost Nova, or excuse me, the Ice Shards build. Now, when it comes to the legendaries of this build. Um, a lot of this isn't really dependent on any powers, right? Like, I have some powers that contribute, but this build is essentially unaffected by any powers. The only power that I do have for the build is when ice armor is active, you lead exploding ice shards or ice spikes that chill enemies. Otherwise, I don't really have anything that does any increase to ice shards and stuff like that. So the build runs very, very strong. I don't have any recommendations right now on what... Um, imprint powers that you could use for this build the only one that i probably would recommend is the one that we have on our uh gloves here where you your basic skills gain 29 percent attack speed which if you have it on a two-handed weapon it doubles so uh that way you can just hit your frost bolt and just vibe that way so yeah guys that is the ice shards uh ice blades sorcerer build for the diablo 4 beta Drop a like if you guys did enjoy it. Uh, comment down below. We got what do you guys think about your source, this sorcerer build, and any ones that you guys are using. Um, and as always, stay gaming. Catch you in the next one. Peace.